Hello everybody and welcome back. So today we are going to be discussing privacy, Tor, and a non-mode or a non-surf through Parrot. So the beauty of this is the encryption and the privacy that you get through Tor. Okay, uh, they have hidden services. Facebook itself has uh, contributed to Tor's hidden services and given you a hidden service Facebook page, uh, which is a dot onion address. However, uh, let's first look at what Tor is, okay? So Tor is a, considered is also known as the Onion Router and was developed years ago um, to allow free use of the internet to anonymize your connections, to allow you to browse privately. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna look at Tor's webpage, torproject.org, and we're gonna take a look at exactly what they say. So the first thing they talk about is blocking trackers. Now this is assuming you're using the Tor browser. Thankfully, Paratech has been gracious enough to give us uh, extensions that are already utilized by the Tor browser. All right, that'd be Privacy Badger, which is this fun little icon up here, and then you block origin. So uh, they both have their specialties in what they do. We're not gonna go into it, but just know that between Tor Browser, um, the Tor Network, and uh, the Firefox extensions, uh, trackers are blocked unless you choose to allow them. Next, we talk about defense against surveillance. So the beauty of this is Tor Browser will prevent someone from watching your connection knowing what websites you visit, all right? Um, basically, if you are not going through Tor, if you're using just your ISP, then every um, connection is monitored, okay, or at least logged, or should be. And with that, uh, anyone at any time, or especially law enforcement, uh, can request to see what websites you've been visiting. Um, now, for those that are concerned about privacy, this becomes an issue. Um, me personally, I, I only use Tor on occasion. Um, but it is something that is meaningful to a lot of people. So um, I use it a lot in pen tests and we'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, but so this will actually show that anytime you're on the internet, instead of someone seeing what websites you're visiting, all it'll see is that you're going through Tor. That's all the logs will show is that you're going through the Tor network, which is awesome. Finally, um, it helps resist fingerprinting. So. As you can see, my browser isn't huge right now, right? So I'm not maximized. So no one knows exactly what size monitor I'm running um, by looking at the resolution of the browser. All they'll see is that it's Firefox, honestly. Um, but that's it. They're not gonna get a whole lot of other information from it. It's also encrypted. So all your traffic is relayed and encrypted three times as it goes through the Tor network. All right, so it, essentially the way Tor works is it takes, it encrypts your traffic on your machine, sends it to a relay node, then another relay node, then another relay node, um, until finally it hits an exit node and goes out to whatever site or whatever hidden service that you're trying to visit. So encrypted, awesome. Um, and then it browses freely. So if you are on your home network or any other, whether it be any, any network that blocks traffic, um, if they're not blocking Tor, this allows you to um, surf any website that you wish. So for those that are under censorship, this is a great way to get past that if um, it's possible within your network. All right, so now we've discussed a little bit of what Tor is. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna solve something on here that I feel is a necessity and the reason I, I, I do is because JavaScript is a huge problem. Uh, Cross-site scripting, um, uh, the list goes on. There's a bunch of exploits and malicious intent behind JavaScript sometimes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install what's called NoScript Security Suite. So if it's not already installed in your browser, we can install it here. So we now have NoScript. Now what that does is if I go to say, let's say Paratsec. I'm just gonna go Paratsec's homepage. And we're gonna tell it that it's untrusted right now. 
what you're going to see is this is going to hang and it's going to try to load. It's going to continue to load, but it'll never fully load because we've disabled JavaScript. All right, so you're, we're just going to sit with this fun little parrot logo. Now, if we enable the JavaScript permanently, and you can do it temporarily also if you're on a site and you only want to temporarily allow something so you can see a video or something like that, you can do that as well. Um, but now we actually have full view of the parrot website. So that's how NoScript works. Now, Parrot has built into it what's called a non-surf. Initially, and for years, a non-surf worked just by either going to the link in the toolbar or by doing it through CLI and typing in um, sudo non-surf start. However, um, with the updates and upgrades over the years, something has broke to where you can't just run that. It's unfortunate and looking at the forums and, and looking at what the developers have said, they're working on a fix. Um, for now, we need to actually add in one line before we execute a non-surf. What that line is, is sudo tor-f etsy a non-surf torc. And as you'll see, it sets all that up. And then we're gonna do sudo a non-surf start. And yeah, so what this is going to do is it's going to close Firefox, clear out any cache, and now we're under the non-surf tunnel. So now when we go here, what we will see is it loads. So it looks like we're just on uh, a standard website or, or in the clear, right? But what we're going to do is we want Tor check. I believe that's what it is. So we're going to do a quick Google search. Ah, wait, that's right. Google doesn't like that. Duck, duck, go. We're going to do Tor check. Uh, check dot Tor project dot org. And what do you know? Congratulations, this browser is configured to use Tor. So our IP address appears to be 185-220-100-255. Um, that IP address can change. So if I wanted to, all right, and I'll show you where it's at in this little toolbar now, um, just so you can get an idea. We can do a non-surf and let's get us a new IP address. same IP address that you would use if you were doing uh, sudo. And now let's reload this. Well, you know, we got a new IP address. We're coming out of a new exit net. So now our connection is anonymous. So what we would do is if we went through facebook.com, which it's going to be a little bit mad because I have no script, but we're also blocking cookies. So we can go there, or we're gonna hit a hidden service. Facebook was generous enough to give us core www.onion. And yes, all hidden services end in .onion, okay? When you're going through the Tor network. So as long as their hidden service is still up and functioning, what we'll see is, doo -doo -doo. We can see it loading. We're now on Facebook through Dot Onion, and as you can see, it's showing that JavaScript is disabled on the browser. So, again, this isn't—it's um, not a hundred percent. Okay, nothing in computers, nothing in cybersecurity ever is. So please don't assume that it is. Um, there are other ways that you can better protect yourself. One of them is doing going through a VPN and then through Tor, um, that has its advantages and disadvantages. And then you can also go through Tor and then through a VPN, which has its advantages and disadvantages. So if you wanna look up those pros and cons, you're more than welcome. Uh, other than that, there's your Tor browser. Um, and like I said, all uh, traffic is encrypted from host to uh, server, host to endpoint. That is just the Facebook Onion page. Uh, if I do, if I stop this, so if I go to sudo anon serve stop, 
yep, we're gonna kill everything. What you're gonna notice is I can no longer get to the dot onion page. So as soon as this is done. And the other beautiful thing about a non serve is it routes all internet traffic through Tor. So you will not, um, it's not just your browser, it is actually um, anything else that you may access uh, that goes over the internet. So, uh, whether that be SSH or whatever, anything that uses TCP or goes over the internet will actually be routed through a SOX proxy through the Tor network. So, now if we try to go to Facebook core www.i.onion, it cannot see it because ClearNet does not know what .onion is. It is only available through a non -surf. So what are some of the other advantages of this? And I mentioned before that I use this uh, on pen testing and things of that nature. And the reason for that is a lot of corporations, a lot of companies and enterprises should actually be blocking Tor exit nodes and any known Tor exit nodes. Um, and there's lists of them out there on Pastebin and things of that nature and through taxi feeds. And the reason they need to block these is because a lot of your malicious attackers and um, anybody trying to do malicious things uh, will use Tor. And so, um, you know, as a company, I want to know that they're blocking Tor traffic inbound. If they're not, then it makes it a lot more difficult for somebody doing incident response or incident handling to uh, attribute any malicious attack. And so you don't know if your geo blocking is working. You don't know um, a lot of these different things because now someone is able to route their traffic through Tor. So they may be in Russia, come out in America, and now they're able to target American websites. Because yes, we have Tor exit nodes in America. They're all over the world because it's completely volunteer. You can set up a Tor exit node yourself. Um, so yeah, so it becomes very difficult. So we advise uh, a lot of your enterprises and companies to block Tor exit nodes. It makes, even though it's not 100%, um, it still minimizes that attack footprint a little bit more, okay? Um, yeah, and then other than that, again, like I said, it's security. Uh, security is the biggest thing. So, and encryption and privacy. So if you have any questions, I am gonna put the commands in the description down below. So if you have any questions about how to get this working or how it works, feel free to reach out, leave a comment. Um, but please, I ask, subscribe, hit that button above uh, or below, wherever it's at. And I hope that this has showed you how to get an on surf working. And uh, I hope that you continue to watch and follow along.